Hello you guys, welcome back to Aura Oh My God and I am back with another video. I know y'all guys recently saw that I finally uploaded two videos on YouTube that I actually recorded back in November. I just never uploaded them until now. Um, but I'm ready for another video guys. As you can tell by the title, it's q and A's about pregnancy. Um, I asked um, y'all guys to send me questions on Instagram. And I was going to answer them on here, okay? So, I'm not going to do a lot of questions. I'm going to do enough to where, you know, we don't take up too much time. And you're watching, like, a 30-minute video of fucking questions. Excuse my language. Okay, oh yeah, uh, today is December 10th. And I am currently 24 weeks and 4 days. Okay. Alright, so first question. Okay, has anything seemed to change or become difficult since getting pregnant? Uh, yes, things change. <laughs> yeah, things change and do get difficult uh, with changing that comes with food, your food, like what foods you like change, what foods you can eat, your emotions change, your sleep schedule change, everything, like all that change and those all become difficult while being pregnant like you're trying to get used to it when you have things to do or you know it just gets in the way of a lot of a lot of things okay so yes okay number two what's the most difficult thing so far during pregnancy um the most difficult thing i've experienced i could say because right now i'm not really i don't have anything that's the most difficult that i'm going through right now I can say there's the morning sickness my first trimester that was like that was the most difficult thing dealing with in my pregnancy was the morning sickness because it was just it was constant it was every day it, we, you just weren't throwing up food you're throwing up water and then like when you didn't have nothing else to throw up you're just you know you're gagging and that shit hurts that shit hurts and then when you work when I, I used to work, I don't work there no more. When you work in the food industry too, you can't be doing that shit at work. You can't be throwing up and shit around food and other people's fucking shit. Like it just gets in the way of so much stuff. So uh, actually that's the most difficult thing. I got, taking a shower too. I'm not gonna lie. Like when you, if you wanna shave your legs, you finna sit down for a good ass little fucking minute. Don't even, mm mm. I'm not even gonna go there. Mm -mm. I can't see it, so I'm scared. I'm just not. <laughs> I'm not gonna do. Okay. Uh, next question. Ooh, damn! I can't see. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm also pregnant. How are your emotions? Mine are all over the place. My emotions are all over the place too, honey. Trust and believe. I think that was the day of, number one giveaway that I was pregnant because I was crying a lot. I don't use. I do not cry a lot. It's something I don't do. Like unless I'm like pissed off, I'm really fucking mad. I'll cry or the news. The news just make me cry a lot. That's why I hate the news. This is sad, but I don't cry a lot over like a lot of things but I was crying a lot. I cry, I'm still crying a lot like it would be over food it would be over dumb things like like I give it to my boyfriend cause he has to deal with the most shit <laughs> cause you know I, I'm around him every day so like he gets the short end of that stick like he could be doing nothing I was just look at it like you getting on my fucking nerves <laughs> I love you I really do but I just like I wanna fight <laughs> Yes, yeah, like so yeah my emotions are all over the place right along with yours and i think that's like almost every pregnancy the emotion the emotion thing um what are some of your cravings okay with my cravings they change all the time because i think like as the baby grows like there's certain foods that he can take and not take really but the cravings that i started with was subway i was eating a lot of subway for a good little minute and then I uh, switched over to like uh, bologna sandwiches with uh, Dorito. It was, it was specific. It was bologna sandwiches with mayonnaise and Dorito, Dorito chips. Um, that and I switched over from that from the four for four at McDonald's with the 
the double cheese double cheeseburger um and their fries and then I guess more now it's taco it's soft taco um right three fried beans from Cancun's and now it's the taco soft tacos from um soft tacos from Taco Bell like I used to love bean burritos but I can't eat them okay um did you have a gender reveal I did not have a gender review. I really wanted to have a gender review because I had this all been watching everybody's gender reviews and they're like all cute and stuff like that. And um, I was getting impatient. <laughs> I was getting really impatient. Like I was, I was good for the ideal, but then like you know, I love my mom, but she's a procrastinator to the to fullest. She's a procrastinator to the fullest. Like she wanted to do it, but like she didn't do it. So like. When we did the anatomy scan, I still had the thought in mind that we were going to do the gender reveal. So my mom was the only one who got to know what the gender was. And then I couldn't wait. Like, I ended up waiting, like, it was a week later. And I was like, no, nah, I got to know. Mom, what is it? Like, she wouldn't tell me. So then she video she video uh, chatted me on Messenger. And she had my little brother, Andrew, tell us the gender. So, like, yeah, I'm like, he's like, I'm it's, it's a boy. I was like, oh my gosh. I should have known. Like, I always wanted a boy first. And then, like, I kept on changing my mind and stuff like that. My boyfriend always knew it was a boy because his genes, they just all produce boys. And then, out of my family side, like, my mom has four boys and my dad has two boys. So, that, that was a, I guess that was going to be a no-brainer there. So yeah, I'm having a boy. Um, are you excited? I am really excited. I'm really ready to have this baby. <laughs> no, I just can't wait. Time's going by fast. I needed to go by fast. And I just, I'm just ready to have this baby. I'm ready to have the baby now, but I don't want to have the baby too early. Because if I have the baby early, I'm going to probably cry. Like, there's not even probably to it. I'm going to cry. Because <laughs> it'll scare me. Okay, who's your support group? Like, who's been there for you during... Okay, I know what you mean. During your pregnancy. Um, who's been there for me, like, literally on a day-to-day -day basis? I can really say that is my boyfriend, my mom, and my friend TJ. Um, TJ, she doesn't even live... She doesn't even live in the state, but, like, she's there for me in, like, multiple ways. Like, if it need me, her send me money to go get tacos if I need it, she will freaking do it. She does have no problem doing it. Like, I freaking love her. Um, of course, my mom, she's, like, she's up my ass about a lot of stuff, too. Like, you know, cause she's had six kids, so she's just... Make sure you're doing this, can't be doing that, can't do this, can't do that. I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, everybody, you know, that wants to yell about me picking up milk. Like, it's a no-go. My boyfriend, too, you know, he's here at B-Day day, -day and Like, you know, he does his best to help when he can if I'm not, you know, being an asshole. And be like, get away from me. Because I'm just, the emotions, y'all. But I love him so much, he does his best. Um... People that I can just talk to, like, I, that I feel like it's still, like, their support. Because, like, if I ask them questions about their pregnancy and stuff like that, it, it's still support and stuff like that. Um, my cousin Centora, uh, Tatiana, Lashana, um, Tia... I'm pretty sure there's some more people, but I can't remember, okay, y'all guys? Pregnancy brain is a big thing, okay? It's real. It is real. You will be talking and you will forget. You will tell yourself, do not forget this, and you will forget it just like that. You have questions when you need to go to the doctors, you go to the doctors, they're gone, okay? They, they're non existence, like you never had them. Okay, is there any foods that you dislike now? It's not that I don't dislike them. I can't eat them because this kid don't like them. Sloppy Joes, when I freaked out I couldn't eat Sloppy Joes no more, I was so freaking mad. It wasn't even more than sickness. It was just every time I ate a Sloppy Joe, it was just, nope, toss the cookies. Like, it was, it was that. It was that. Sloppy Joes. And when I couldn't eat McDonald's no more, this kid was not going. I can't eat McDonald's no more, like, 
the I think it's just the, it's the burgers I can't really eat. Uh, the burgers I can't really eat. But I gotta stay away from McDonald's anyways. But that. It feels like the main foods I really can't eat at the moment. Because you know it always changes and whatnot. Okay, I have like one more question. <laughs> Your birthday is this month. How does it feel to turn 21 and be pregnant? <laughs> um, I'm not gonna say it sucks because it's not like I'm missing out on anything. I was drinking before I was 21, so. Well, I was drinking when I was 18, you know, so it's not like, oh, I'm 21, you don't, oh, you can't drink because you're pregnant, da, da, da. I just mean like, perfect timing, I don't, I don't know, perfect timing, but, you know, I usually don't ever do anything for my birthday, and I think 21st birthday, like, you should want to do something, so I think I'm just going to do, like, a dinner, when I got really have much of a choice to what I'm going to be doing for my birthday, but the turn up will not be real. <laughs> this month because my birthday is on the 21st so my birthday is December 21st and I'm turning 21 and I'm gonna be pregnant so this is it's gonna it's gonna be all right it's gonna be it's gonna be fun in my opinion and then like that same week I gotta do that I think it's like two days after Christmas two days after Christmas I gotta do the what is it called? The fucking test you had to drink that shit to see if you had diabetes or something. What is it called? I don't know. I forgot. I remember that I forgot. But yeah, pretty much, basically, that that that's that that that's that's that. Yeah, yeah. You mean this baby told me sit my ass down. Okay, I don't have any more questions. Like, no, I, I'm pretty sure people have did questions on Instagram, like I asked, like, you know, to reply to the thing. But a lot of people didn't. Like, there are people playing on here. They're like, hi, Raja, or I like your page, and doing everything but what I asked. <laughs> but, like, a few people. Like, the people that I answered your questions with, or that had DM me, me your questions, they're the only people who asked questions. But it's kind of hard to go through all of them when people do stuff like this. Like, what's your favorite song of mine? Some girl. Like, I don't even know who she is. Like, I'm not trying to be rude. Do y'all know who? Oh, hold on. Who is? I don't know her. But she responded to it. I think they're like spams or something. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hang on. Let me do. I want to do a shout out real quick. Let me do. Let me do a shout out. I was already doing that. I'm gonna start shouting out certain YouTubers that I fuck with. Cause like, I do that. Like the uh, the YouTuber I've been watching, uh, her pregnancy vlogs and stuff like that is Let's Do Makeup. Like I don't know if I know her. Hold on. Make sure I'm not sharing my messages. Okay. Like I freaking love her. <laughs> I freaking love her. I need to follow her and like watch her like youtube videos because she ready to pop like she's due this month okay so follow her and okay i'm doing my shout out i'm gonna do like i'm gonna start doing that probably like do like two shout outs like at the end of my video go follow uh zakia Zakia Everett. Everett. If I can talk, y'all. Go follow her too. Cause like she has she just had a um just did a YouTube video with her boyfriend and whatnot. Like I freaking love Zakia. We're actually like do around the same time. She's actually really a freaking sweetheart. Like I love it. But yes, go follow her. Okay you guys. That is going to be the end of this video. Please give me a thumbs up. 
give me a give me a thumbs up give me a comment give me a share give me a subscribe please because this is a new channel and you know we're starting off fresh i think right now i got like only 10 subscribers you know with the views are kind of racking up on the last video um if y'all want to follow me on my social medias they'll be in the link in the description below so yeah just go ahead and hit them like type in my name in any freaking social media you're gonna find my profile because my name is just it's just that you type in my name instagram snapchat twitter that's all of them right there i'm most active on instagram so if y'all want to know that so i'll see y'all guys in the next video Oh fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. 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 Fuck